Assalamualaikum and hello to all. We are going to proceed to 2.2 nomenclature of cyclic alkane. Let's move on. Cyclic alkane also known as cycloalkanes. Yeah? So this is a cyclic or closed chain cycloalkane. In this case, it has three carbons. So this one is actually cyclopropane. It can also be drawn in skeletal form like a triangle. So cycloalkanes are alkanes with are joined in rings. So close chain. Eh? It is a, still a saturated hydrocarbon uh, because it has the maximum number of bonded hydrogen. The carbon only has single bond. The general formula is CnH2n which is similar to alkene which is double bond. But for close chain or rings, it is CnH2n. The minimum requirement for you to have cycloalkane is C3H6 because you cannot make a ring from one carbon only or two carbon only. So at least you should have three. Cycloalkane with only one ring, monocyclic, are named by attach attaching the prefix cyclo. Okay, so let's see this one. Okay, how many carbon are here? It is three, yeah? So three carbon. Three carbon is propane. When it is propane, you put the prefix cyclo because it is closed chain or ring structure. This is four carbon. One, two, three, four carbon. So it is butane. Add the prefix cyclo. So it is cyclobutane. So this is one, two, three, four, five, pentane. So it will be cyclopentane adding the prefix cyclo. For monocyclic alkene, yeah? If, subs if one substituent is present, one substituent, okay, so it means that there is one thing attached to the cyclic compound. So, for example, this one, there is one methyl attached to the cyclobutane. It is not necessary to design its position, so this one should just be named methyl cyclobutane. If not, you are going to label this one, right? One, two. So, this one, uh, you, are, you have the tendency to name it one dash methyl cyclobutane but only one substituent present no need to write down the same thing for this one uh, br so br is attached at carbon number one here this is carbon number one the parent chain okay the parent chain is actually cyclopentane okay why is it cyclopentane because there are five carbon huh? there are five carbon so cyclopentane and this one is Br. So Br, as a substituent, the name is Bromo. So Bromo, Bromo. You should not have any space between them. Eh? Bromo. Okay, so Bromo, Cyclopentane. Do not have space. Eh? You have the tendency to write down one Bromo Cyclopentane, but no need to write down one because it is only one substituent. So Bromo Cyclopentane. Okay, what about this one? Okay, so the parent chain here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 carbon and it is a closed chain. So this one is cyclohexane. Hexane is for 6 carbon atom. Huh? And this one is 2 carbon. 2 carbon, it is ethyl. So only one substituent present. So we just need to write down ethyl cyclohexane hey there is one more uh, so if it is like this it means you need to consider the whole thing here as a substituent so this one is actually isopropyl so not ethyl cyclohexane eh? but isopropyl cyclohexane Nomenclature of cycloalkanes, proceed. <clears throat> what if we have two substituents? Okay, let's see for example this one. This one is cyclopentane, 5 carbon atom. Is it correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, cyclopentane. So, there is one, one substituent and there is one more. So, this one is ethyl. This one is methyl. Okay, so alphabetical order. So you need to number the ring according to alphabetical order. So ethyl is first before M. 
so this one should be given the number one and this one should be number two okay you cannot go one two three four five uh, labeling this one five uh, it is is this not correct because you will have high number of locken okay we want to have the lowest number possible we want to have low, lowest number possible so if this one is one this one should be two okay so by numbering according to alpha herbert to get the lowest number this one will be one at till one at till two dash methyl cyclopentane okay ethyl methyl carbon number one carbon number two so one ethyl two methyl cyclopentane remember there is no space between all this no spaces even this one no space everything must be joined together okay next one this is cyclohexane cyclohexane ethyl one more here cl which is chloro so how are you going to label this one the numbering is it, is this one is one two three or is it this one is one two three uh, so again look at the alphabet okay so this one is c this one is e so cl should carry the number one this is number two so this is number three so it means this one is three ethyl and this one is one chloro okay so one chloro three ethyl cyclohexane uh, what if you have both the same compound so this one will be one comma three dash dichloro cyclohexane okay dichloro uh, referring to two same group attached to the cup uh, ring uh, what if you have three three or more okay three or more substituent so you need to find out the one with the lowest set of locken uh, this one we uh we still take account the alpha herbert but what is more important priority is given to the lowest set of locken uh, location of substituent so you can label it like this one two three four so your substituent will be one chloro three ethyl and four methyl okay but this one will give you one three four one three four one three four one plus three plus four equals to seven eh sorry eight if you choose from here this one you label it one one two three four so your substituent will be labeled one plus two plus four which is four six seven so seven so we, which one will have lowest number of locker one three four one three four or is it one Two, four okay of course one two four right so this one will give a lower number of locker so we choose this one so the name for this compound is actually okay this is the calculation that we have done earlier eight and seven so we choose this one so chloro is four chloro is four ethyl is 2 and methyl is 2 remember we are still writing this down according to alpha herbert okay, c e m eh? so for chloro 2 ethyl methyl cyclohexane uh, when a single ring okay uh, the cyclic compound attached to single chain with have greater number of carbon atom it means that the side chain is longer Okay, for example, this one have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon. Eh? But the alkyl chain you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it means that this part is longer. The alkene part here is longer compared to the cycloalkene part. So the name for this one is cycloalkyl alkene. Okay, alkene here, you need to name this one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So pentane. So your parent chain is 
pentane. And this one is uh, cyclobutyl. Okay, so you can label it cyclobutyl pentane. Okay, one cyclobutyl pentane. Okay, the numbering is at carbon number one here. One cyclobutyl pentane. Okay, the same thing for this one. Uh, this one actually, okay, uh, this one actually, when you have two, more than one ring, eh? when a single ring attached to a single chain with greater number carbon, or when more than one ring attached to a single chain, this is more than one ring, eh? attached to a, to a chain. Uh, so, this is single chain, one, two, three. So, it is propane. Okay, so, the same thing, we still are going to name it cycloalkyl alkene, even though this one is shorter chain. Okay, even though this one only have three carbon, this one is six. Huh? Okay, this one is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But because there are two, so we are going to label it one. Okay, one. This one attached to carbon number three. One, three. One, three. Dicyclohexyl propane. Okay, so you can try uh, to test yourself uh, using this compound. Okay, so try it. Make sure you label the number of carbon correctly. Okay, so you can pause the studio. And after that, you try to answer. And then proceed to the next one for the answer. Okay, let's proceed. So this is the answer. So this one. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this one will be cycloalkyl alkene. Eh? So pentane attached at carbon number two. So is this two? Is this two cyclo cyclopropyl pentane? So is this two cyclopropyl pentane? Uh, two cyclopropyl pentane. Okay, that is correct. Okay, what about this one? This one, how many carbon are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this one is octane. And this one is ethyl. This part is ethyl. But this one... Okay, let's see. Okay, the position is labeled like this. Huh? Uh, this one is just for me to count. Okay, the correct way. Is writing down one, two, three, like that. Huh? One, two, three. Okay, for this one, what uh, this one you need to label it again, but I don't think this kind of question will come out in your exam. Eh? One, one, three, it should not be as complicated as that. Huh? Okay, what about this one? Okay, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8. So, this one is still octane. Uh, this, is, this one is methyl because there is one carbon. And this one is cyclopropyl attached at carbon number 4. So, this one according to F. Herbert, uh, 4 cyclopropyl 3 methyl octane. So, is it correct? 4 cyclopropyl 3 methyl octane. Okay, correct. And this one, okay, you need to remember that this one, um, the cyclic, the cyclic compound here is attached directly to the another cyclic compound. There is no carbon chain at the center here. Any, yeah? So choose the one which have longer number of carbon. So the one which have longer number of carbon is this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this is the bigger close chain structure. So your parent chain for this one will be cyclohexane and this is a substituent which is 5. Eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this one will be cyclo cyclopentyl cyclohexane. Uh, maybe we can label it 1. Cyclopentyl cyclohexane, right? But if the cyclic compound only have one substituent, we don't write down one. Eh? So cyclopentyl, cyclohexane. Okay, so that's it for today for 
nomenclature for alkane we we finish the nomenclature of alkane cyclic and aliphatic so do exercise and good luck